Hi, I am Vinay and in today's lesson I will show you how light can be seen in different colors and how to use the properties in our daily lives. One such property of light is refraction which is observed through a glass prism. A prism is a solid with two triangular bases and three rectangular sides. It is made of glass. You can see that the rectangular sides A, B, C, D and A, D, E, F are inclined at an angle. This angle is called the angle of a prism. This angle may be acute, right angled or obtuse. A prism with an equilateral triangular base is called an equilateral prism. It has an angle of 60 degrees. Prisms can be made of different materials like plastic, glass or even liquid. The light undergoes refraction twice when it passes through two surfaces of the prism. Once when the light enters the prism and then when the light leaves the prism. Let us perform an experiment to determine the refractive index of the material of the prism. You do this by measuring the minimum angle of deviation of the light ray. Place the triangular prism on a sheet of paper. Trace along the outer surface to form an equilateral triangle. Next, remove the prism and mark the place where the pins were placed at M, N, O and P. Draw a line joining the points M and N and extend it to meet the edge of the prism AB. Similarly, draw a line joining OP and extend it to meet the edge of the prism AF. Using a protractor, draw a line perpendicular to the side AB and point R and another line perpendicular to the side AF at S. The angle of incidence is the angle made by the line MR with the normal N1 and the angle of emergence is the angle made by the PS with the normal N2. The angle made by MY and PY is the angle of deviation. Measure the angle of incidence, the angle of emergence and the angle of deviation. Note the angles in a table. Plot a graph with angle of incidence on the x axis and the angle of deviation on the y axis. You will see that a U shaped curve is formed. Use the formula mu is equals to sin A plus dm by 2 by sin A by 2 where A is the angle of the prism which in this case is 60 degrees and dm is the minimum value of angle of deviation. Now change the position of the pins at M and N and correspondingly change the positions of the pin at R and S. Let me show you another phenomenon called total internal reflection. Before understanding total internal reflection, you need to know the meaning of critical angle. See the rectangle PQRS that represents the glass slab on the screen and the incident ray of light shown by AB. If the angle of refraction becomes equal to 90 degrees, then it is called the critical angle of the glass slab. If the glass slab has a critical angle of greater than 90 degrees, then the ray gets reflected within the glass slab and this phenomenon is called total internal reflection. Materials like diamond shine because of total internal reflection. 
the mirages formed in the hot desert are a result of total internal reflection